Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody back to Domekeeper. Um, oh, hang on, I think. Let's just check that audio. Haha. Yeah, we want we want a little bit of audio. <laughs> cool. Okay, so I heard there's a Christmas update. I got a uh, little message through on my Discord server, uh, which you can join if you want to. The link is in the video description. Um, and for this, I'm going to go with my favourite dome, which is the laser. Uh, we're going to go with the engineer, who I think has a Christmas suit. Or do I have to unlock it, maybe? Um, we'll go relic hunt mode, proceed. Uh, we're going to do a small map on hard difficulty. And I don't see a Christmas mode here, so maybe this will be the run that I unlock it with, perhaps. Um, let's go. I haven't played Domekeeper for a while, and I love it. I love it so much, so uh, this should be a fun little reintroduction. Kaboom. Okay, with the engineer. Let's start tap tapping away. Excellent start. Absolutely nothing on the board. Aha, what have we got here? Bit of iron. Okay, let's carry these back. Oh, whoops. Oh, that's all cleared out now. Okay, so the first thing I think I'm going to go is the drill upgrade. Cool. And let's dig out this left side here. Aha, perfect. And I'm going to get carry strength next. Oh, the, the Kiwi gave me a little alarm. <laughs> the Kiwi's quite animated compared to the cat, actually. Right. Uh, get the health meter, just because I've got one there. A bit of water. Oh, nice. Okay, let's take this back. The fight's about to start. So, yeah, I'm not sure what you get with the Christmas update, but um, hopefully, I'll be unlocking it with this with this uh, game, and um, all will become clear. I think it's like a Christmas suit and maybe some music or something. I did read it and then immediately forgot because. Uh, that's how I roll, man. A couple of bits of cobalt here, some iron. All right, let's take this back. Now with water and three iron, uh, maybe there's an upgrade I can get on the shield or something. Not sure, but I kind of want the kind of want the hostile proximity meter anyway. Let's get that. And the adaptive wave warner. And why not just go get the exit route right now so I don't have to worry about it. Um, inventory management and, and uh, auto repair. Uh, not going to get the cycle counter because I can't afford it. And there we go. I should never be late to the dome. Um, I've been doing the last few runs with the automation setting on full, so... Aha. So not having to worry about getting back. I'm just slightly paranoid that I will get lazy and not not make not, not make my way home in time. My poor kiwi will have to just panic in the dome. Okie dokie. So I'm gonna go for laser power, and we've got a couple of seconds before. The wave gets here. Oh, here we go. And there we go. There's that exit route I was talking about. Uh, where are you? Aha. That's 
to you dead to you dead I think the next thing I want to go for is either keeper speed or um, laser speed because that was hellishly slow moving over to the left there nice more iron, more water Let's ditch that iron and that I think I can I think I can carry that one actually. Okay, let's take these up. And I think we've got time to go and mine out the rest of that iron and bring it back. I think I want to upgrade the keeper speed fairly soon actually because uh, it feels it feels apocalyptically slow. Bless him. Or her. Maybe it's a lady. Yeah, let's make her a lady. You can't tell from... from this pixelated viewpoint, so... Cool. Alright, so... Have I got enough to get the move speed? I have. And then what can I do with two and three? Uh, nothing on the shield, uh, nothing anywhere else, so we'll hang on to that and we'll uh, use that to develop out later. And let's fight. Yeah, now now the laser moves nice and fast, so we should be able to get stuff before it gets to us. Amen. Oh, Arguably I should have just stayed on that right side. Uh, shield's still up though, see. So. The laser does slow them down a little bit. Okay. So let's uh, go and dig out this right side now. Got some uh, hard rock there. Here we go. Aha! And a gadget. Well, let's quickly take the iron back up. Because I want to get the keeper move speed before I before I get swept up in other options and just forget to do it, end up being excruciatingly slow for the entire run. Cool, that's done. Anything on the shield? No, it all needs four apart from the overcharge, which I'm not ready to take yet. Let's see what we unlock in the gadget. I don't know if there's a Christmas gadget Okay, let's drag it up with the rope. Oops, oh, just go this way. All right, what are our options here? The prospecting meter, which I never remember to look at, or the probe, which I do. So let's uh, go for the probe and let's work that into our methodology. Gonna go and drop a probe here. Oh, it's, maybe is that cobalt there? Cool, very good. Probe already proving its worth. Okay, let's uh, battle here. Got you. There's a lot of fast ones. I think the speed upgrade, I probably should have gone for the speed upgrade first, but I have it now, so it doesn't matter. All right. Grab our probe. I'm pretty confident I've got everything out of this top right corner, so I'm actually going to go slightly lower. Drop the probe back here. Nothing there. All right. Oh, there's something a bit lower, but that's a bit too low. So actually, let's just dig out this top right corner. See if we missed anything. There's the wall. No, I think we are done. Okay. Go down this way. I want to try and avoid going too deep too soon. Try and catch all the resources in, in this area before I move all the way down. Aha! Perfect. Let's drag this back.
reprobe, and let's see what we can get for nine iron and three water. Um, okay, it might be time to get the drill upgrade. Uh, I don't think I need the laser sight, I'm pretty good. I can't really get any of these, so... Yeah, let's go for drill uh, and hold it there. Just gonna fire off a probe here. Nope, nothing. Oh, now thankfully this one has just showed up on the correct side, and so is this one. Oh, oh, I thought that was the end of it. Oh, flip. Ah, that still feels very slow, that laser. Might go for the laser speed upgrade soon. So just before I go for whatever it was at the bottom of the pit there, let's go over this side. Uh, drop a probe right here. Okay, well there's a piece of cobalt that the probe didn't seem to see. Maybe that's because I dug it out first. So we're going to come back to this side and work our way inwards uh, next time around. Let's just dig out this way. Nah, there's nothing here. Reprobe. And let's see what upgrade I can get here. Now, can I get movement speed? No, it's 10. Uh, it seems to be getting a lot of fast enemies, so I'd, I'm quite interested in getting that. Uh, I can get some shield stuff, so I feel like I might do the shield strength one, and then the next load of iron go for the move speed on the laser. After that, I'll... Uh, Strengthen the keeper up a little bit. Okay, shoot the probe off. Aha! Okay, needs a couple of bits of iron for that. So actually, if we can get away with it, we'll grab these two. Okay, I'm going to take a hit here. Fortunately, I've strengthened my shield, so... Ah! All right, so I've got the zoom out. I can now see what's coming my way, but I did, I should have done that on the next run really, because now I'm gonna take some hits. All right, battle. Ouch, yeah, I'm gonna lose a lot of health here. Well, that went excruciatingly badly. But I did get the zoom out, so maybe that'll be worth the uh, worth the risk. Okay, so somewhere here there is some stuff which we already found anyway. The probe is less useful with the zoom out uh, satellite thing, so I probably won't invest in it anymore. Okay, now we can get laser movement speed, which I think is absolutely essential for the the types of enemies that we're getting. Let's whip back down there. And then as far as I went down, we're now going to uh, look at going left and right. I've got so much cobalt. Uh, hopefully I'll get something I can spend it on. In fact, I might actually stop bringing it up, but... I don't know about that. I have a feeling I'm not going to need all this, but it might help if I want to try and beat the final wave. Let's reprobe anyway, just because it's a good habit. Let's see what I can spend my iron on. So I really kind of want to get the keeper speed. I'm happy with the carry strength right now. Uh, I've only got four iron though, so can't really do much. All right, back we go. And let's battle. Well, at least we're actually there in time this time. Uh, 
Aha. That move speed too is definitely worth it. Look at the speed these guys are coming in. Quite a high velocity. And the shield stayed up, which is absolutely fantastic. So now we're going to get down to this bottom area and we're going to dig to the right. That's not the right. This is the right. Drop a probe. Yeah, see the probe barely stretches beyond where I can see anyway. All right, cool. I've seen the water and I saw what might have been cobalt when I uh, went for the probe, but it's not really a priority cobalt right now. Let's get this home. Reprobe. I'm excited to see what the Christmas stuff is. Um, okay, I think I'm going to invest a bit in movement speed here because we're already quite far. There we go. He's moving at a proper pace now. Somewhere down here was the like a piece of cobalt or something. Oh, let's get back up. Cool. And battle. Oh man, should have stayed there. Okay, the shield is gone. Oh no, I thought, thought I got that one. Cool. I might look at strengthening the shield soon because I'm not catching those enemies very quickly. Oh, so it was water. All right, well, let's just quickly drag that back up. Get another probe. Go back down. I really want iron now start working through those upgrades really heavily so uh aha what i'll do is i'll dig this out and as i start bringing it back i'll drop a probe cool so some kind of gadget there now it might be overkill but i think i'm going to be able to upgrade the laser and just because these enemies are coming in so quickly it might be nice to just be able to like hit them once and blip them off the screen. Can I get the laser? Uh, 12, okay, no, I need to, need to do another run. Okay, we'll pick that on the next dive down. Let's quickly uh, get these back. Unfortunately the fight is going to have started before I can upgrade the laser so it won't actually take effect this time. Oh, we've got it now anyway. All right, battle. Okay, there's a slow moving one over here which is great. You done. I know, it looks like the laser upgrade did take effect, actually, so that's useful. Right, let's whip down here and grab that gadget. Some more water, which I don't really need at the moment. I really just need iron. I could have got the shield overcharge actually with the amount of water that this is turning up. Okay, the prospecting meter, as before, I don't expect to be looking at that at all. 
So let's get the condenser instead. That produces water, and then I think I'll invest in the overcharge. And then I'll just keep that shield overcharged the whole time. Now I did see some iron down here, so let's go and uh, go and grab that. Very cool. Oh, I heard I heard something on the prospecting meter there on the probe, but I didn't see what it was. I'm guessing it's just further down. Okay, so we've got a lot of water. Now, because this is a small map, we probably don't need to invest much in the condenser. Let's see what the upgrade abilities are. Uh, production speed, auto overcharge. Oh, that's pretty cool. I don't have 10. Automatically overcharges your primary gadget. Production speed, further reduces the time needed to condense one water. I actually might just save up for this, you know, because that's a very powerful boost to the shield. And that means I don't have to buy the overcharge or remember to do it manually, which is pretty handy. There's not really anything else of significance I can get here, so let's just get on with the fight. Oh, a big one. Hello, jellyfish. And you. Goodbye. And you. Yeah, the uh, the beefed up laser just kills those uh, little manta ray things in one shot. It's very cool. Okay, I've got lots of water, so I'll leave that there, and we'll go and get that uh, auto overcharge upgrade on the condenser for my shield. And then I have a funny feeling after that, the shield just won't get broken through at all. Cool. Where is it? Down here. Auto overcharge. Keeps your primary gadget permanently overcharged without using up water. Condenser water production will be delayed after overcharging. Fine, I'll take it. I uh, don't really want to upgrade the probe. Uh, and I can't upgrade any of this. So let's bomb it back down. Wow, nothing. Aha, something down there. Let's go grab that. Oh, and it's iron. Perfect. Just what I wanted. Is it time to upgrade the carry strength? Quite possibly. Quite possibly. He's starting to feel a little bit slow. She's starting to feel a little bit slow going up here. All right, that's good. That's a good uh, a good haul. Let's go take a look at the condenser. So I think I want to invest in that. What's this do? Auto collection. Automates water collection, removing the need for you to pick it up manually. Uh, double storage. Is this a one or the other thing? I can't afford that anyway, right? <laughs> uh, let's have a look at the shield. Maybe we should just generally be boosting the shield. Now, do I need the overcharge bought in order for the... I think I do. So I'm going to buy that, and then we'll come back to boosting the shield later.
Oh yeah, so the auto overcharge has gone in and it doesn't use water, which is great. These uh, these ones should go down pretty quickly. Get rid of you, get rid of you. Come on, off you go. Okay, might take a hit off of here. Nope. Very nice, very good. Okay, so I've forgotten where we were. I feel like there was some iron kicking around down here. Pretty far down. Fire a probe off. There's something down here as well. More cobalt. All right, can I I'll ditch? I'm actually going to ditch the cobalt. I'll, if I desperately need it later, I'll come and pick it up, but I can't see me needing it really. Now this should give me enough to upgrade the carry strength, I think, which is probably needed now. Yeah, a bit overdue, in fact. Now I want to focus on <clears throat> this bottom right section, which I've kind of ignored. So let's go all the way over here, drop a probe there. There we go, that looks like it might be iron, yep. Fantastic. With the upgrade to carry strength, I should be able to easily carry all of this back. Let's just uh, whip through this way. With the uh, zoom out where you can see more blocks, um, the dark patches are ever more prominent actually. Uh, look at the little in the bottom left. Look at my little shield symbol going crazy with the overcharge. Okay, so let's get a combat upgrade. Uh, swivel head laser. Um, can I afford that yet? Mm, probably not quite. Okay, we're on eleven. In that case, let's focus on making the shield basically impervious. So that's that one. And then what we, what we got with overcharge here. Overcharge battle ability duration. Overcharge shield strength. Yeah, let's take that. Because we've got the auto overcharge, we may as well kind of double down on, on the power of it. Uh -huh. Slowy. Ah, oh, should have stayed for the fasty. Okay, we're going to take some hits here. Looks like it's beaten the overcharge on the shield already. And that's the shield. Just, just down. Reprobe. And let's get down the bottom. See what we can find down here. I think we're going to be fairly near the relic on this one, to be truthful. So. I'll probably just go for it because I'm keen to get this Christmas stuff. <laughs> I'm going to ignore that cobalt, like I said. Uh, I've got so much of it now that I'm, I'm not really worried about the impact it will or won't have having it. Wow, absolutely nothing. Okay. No. Go a bit further down. Aha! I was correct. There is the relic. Okay, I reckon uh, on the next run we should be able to bring the relic up. Let's just dig this one out. What I'll do is dig through here and then go straight up to get out. Ah, I think I can just carry it up now. All right, here it comes. So I've got 11 cobalt, a very overcharged shield, and uh, 
not that much powerful in the way of weaponry so I'm not too fussed about beating the final wave on this one I just kind of want to get the Christmas stuff unlocked and see what it is oh wow yeah that shield is that shield is gone <laughs> uh, can't get any upgrades so let's just fight see how far we can get with this wave Kill you, kill you. Wow, well, that took a long time. I have got 11 Cobalt, so actually we might be okay. Oh no, <laughs> no, it's burning through that Cobalt very quickly. I kinda wanna get this thing killed before it starts drilling. Ah, no. Well, it wasn't going to happen. Ah, he's dead anyway. Let's see if we can take out this one. We've got two Cobalt left. We may get down to the last enemy, but I think uh, we're not going to be able to actually beat it. No Cobalt. No means of defence. There we go. The Relic saved us. Wow. Cool. All right. Um, I'm not going to have a look through the mine because I know I missed loads of stuff. We're just going to go back to the main menu and see if anything got unlocked. Uh, Merry Christmas. Oh, okay, I could have read this. So it's new themed title music. Uh, unlockable, unlockable pet and assessor skin. Find a gift chamber and a win and win, win the run to unlock them. Oh, I should have read this first. Okay. Uh, snow weather happening across all maps and Jobber skin. All right, so here, what we need to do then is go and do an assessor game, which I will, I'll do next. Uh, so yeah, on my next run, we're going to go for the assessor. And then, yeah, we should unlock the, uh, the thing for it. Okay, so, uh, yeah, well, thanks very much for watching. Uh, I did. I probably should have read the patch notes before I actually played that, but still, it was pretty fun. Um, so, as usual, uh, if you enjoyed this video, please leave me a like. Um, it really helps me out, and I really enjoy receiving them. Um, and uh, if you have anything to say about the fact that I didn't read the patch notes, please leave me a comment. Um, and uh, I'll get back to you. Um, we have a little Discord community if you want to come over and say hi. The link to that is in the video description and on the front page of the channel. Um, otherwise, have a lovely morning or afternoon or evening, and I will see you next time.